Yoga is a science that tunes you into the inner divinity within yourself. It's a science of healing more than anything else. A science of healing a conditioned pattern of the mind that's taken each person away from realizing sort of the true nature of their being. The first yoga class I ever did was when I was 19 and I was never a dancer, I was never a gymnast, I was never trained in any physical anything. I was really more academic than anything else. In an injury unrelated to yoga, actually from doing too much aerobics at the gym, I strained both my Achilles tendons and I actually couldn't walk after that for a long period of time. So it was through the healing of my body that I turned to go more deeply into the discipline of yoga. And then when I was 22, I went into a guided Ashtanga full primary series class. After I did that class, it felt as though I had answers to questions that I wasn't even aware I was asking. And I immediately sort of got addicted to yoga. In a way, it sort of replaced the unhealthy addictions that were taking over my life. After I'd been doing Ashtanga Yoga for about eight months, I decided to make the journey to India. I read my teacher's book. And on the night I finished his book, I had a dream about him. And it was just so evident that I needed to go to India. So I bought my ticket about two weeks later, and I went for two months that summer. And that was the first of about 12 trips to India that I've made. The last time that I was in Mysore in India, and the last time that I studied with my teacher before he passed away, I had the opportunity to ask him a really transformative question. When I was 22 and confused and searching for a way to live a more peaceful life, I asked him, I said, Guruji, where do you find the peace in Ashtanga Yoga? You know, he could have easily just written me off as, you know, naive and young, but he took it seriously and he said to me, you do three things, you take practice, the posture, which is the physical practice of Ashtanga Yoga, the breathing, which is the connection of the breath to the movement, and looking, which is the drishti, where you focus your point of attention in the posture. You do these three things many years, then Shanti is coming, no problem. Just the fact that he said that to me, and his presence when he said that was, um, it contained so much light that it actually left me with that faith that I was speaking about. And now when I'm teaching students, they come to me with fear and doubt. What I try to do is inspire them to believe in themselves, the same way my teacher inspired me to believe in myself. I see that sometimes when students, you know, of any age, think that their body can't do something. And the moment that either through my belief in them or my encouragement or my inspiration, they can start to believe or start to experience that their bodies can do more than they ever dreamed possible. That for me is the heart opening moment that I can see that people really get inspired to unroll their mats every day and begin that devotional relationship to the spiritual practice of yoga.